In the small town of Sinbad, nestled among rolling hills and meandering streams, there resided a watchman named Daniel. He had been entrusted with the task of safeguarding the homes and businesses of the townspeople, ensuring their protection and peace of mind. Little did they know that behind his vigilant facade, Daniel harbored a sinister secret. Unknown to the townspeople, Daniel had formed an unholy alliance with a notorious gang of thieves. Drawn in by the allure of easy money, he had begun providing them with vital information about vacant houses and unoccupied residences. The thieves capitalized on this inside knowledge, expertly executing their crimes with precision and leaving no trace behind. As the thefts increased, the townspeople became increasingly perplexed. The police, determined to solve the mystery, launched a full-fledged investigation. Detective Rebecca Simons, known for her sharp observations and relentless pursuit of justice, took the lead on the case. She meticulously combed through the evidence searching for any clues that could link the series of robberies in the town. She interviewed witnesses, reviewed security camera footage, and even consulted with renowned experts in criminal psychology. Yet, each lead seemed to hit a dead end. The robberies continued to happen as the detective Rebecca were unable to find any clue. She pursued her investigation from every angle, but was unable to solve it. She even suspects the watchman, Daniel, but does not get any clues against him. One day, while examining the crime scene of a recent robbery, Detective Rebecca noticed a faint but distinct smell of cigarettes. It was an unusual and unexpected detail. Pondering its significance, she remembered that Daniel was a non-smoker according to his colleagues. This observation intrigued her and she decided to dig deeper. Detective Rebecca reached out to the townspeople, particularly those living near the targeted houses, in search of additional information. One elderly resident, Mrs. Jenkins, recalled seeing a man in a dark jacket lurking near her neighbor's home on the night of the theft. She mentioned that the man had an unusual tattoo on his left hand, a dagger wrapped in a snake. This new lead sparked Detective Rebecca's determination. She quickly pieced together the puzzle, realizing that the mysterious man Mrs. Jenkins described was likely one of the thieves. The detective scoured police databases, looking for criminals with a matching tattoo. After hours of tireless searching, she discovered a recent arrest record for a man named Mark Thompson, whose mugshot displayed the distinctive tattoo. Detective Rebecca tracked down Mark's known associates and found evidence linking him to the gang responsible for the robberies. She also uncovered a phone call made from Mark's phone to an unknown number, a number that belonged to Daniel. With the newfound information in hand, Detective Rebecca devised a plan to expose Daniel's involvement. She organized a sting operation, setting up a fake target house and closely monitoring Daniel's actions. One fateful night, as the thieves prepared to strike, Detective Rebecca and her team watched from their hidden positions. They observed Daniel making a suspicious phone call, providing details about the house they planned to rob. As the thieves entered the target house, confident in their insider information, Detective Rebecca and her team closed in. The police surrounded the premises trapping the criminals inside. The element of surprise was on the side of the law this time. Caught in the act, 
the thieves had no choice but to surrender. The stolen items were recovered, and the gang members were arrested. As for Daniel, the evidence against him was overwhelming. He was arrested alongside the thieves, his betrayal laid bare for all to see. The townspeople were left shocked and betrayed, their trust shattered. Detective Rebecca Simons, hailed as a hero by the community, continued her relentless pursuit of justice. Over time, Sinbad regained its sense of tranquility. The stolen items were returned to their rightful owners, and the wounds inflicted by the thefts began to heal. The tale of the watchman who turned traitor served as a valuable lesson for the townspeople. It taught them the importance of staying vigilant, even when faced with seemingly trustworthy figures. It reminded them to be cautious and to question the actions of those in positions of authority.